Together we enter our second week of Advent on a journey towards the Christmas spirit rising up and living inside of us. The second week of Advent for peace. Last week we celebrated hope. Now we build on that with peace. Anytime that you are hopeful inside of yourself, it wells up inside of you and you feel a profound peace take over in your life and overflow from you. In John 14, 27, Jesus said, My peace I give unto you. Jesus made a promise to his disciples that he would comfort and strengthen them in any time of confusion or loneliness. Here is the promise. These things that I have spoken to you, being yet present with you, but the Comforter, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whosoever I have said to you, and whatsoever this will take over. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world giveth, give I to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Well, this week we allow the peace of Christ to infill us. We accept that gift of the Christmas time to allow peace to build all week long in our lives, in our consciousness, in our mind, and in our body. Now, are you alone or are you lonely? Has some changed <laughs> effect in your life turned your life in a different direction? Do you long for peace? Do you long for understanding in your life? Think of Jesus' words as spoken to you. And think about how you are directly God's beloved child. At any time of bewilderment or confusion in life, in any need for peace and strength, this promise holds true. The presence of the Comforter is always with you, bringing strength and understanding to your heart, but a direct peace to your soul that builds, that is eternal through every day throughout your life. I pray today that you accept the peace of Jesus Christ in your heart and soul on this Advent week on our journey towards Christmas.